What's happening everyone, Nicky Hawkins here, West Ham Fan TV now. A uh, bit of a different video for you today, actually. Uh, I've started my new job, as you can see. I now work for Midas, um, where I am sort of marketing sort of social media uh, for them. And first things first, um, I've also always been a supporter of uh, iron supporting food banks. Uh, and I know they've had a bit tough time. So what I did, first thing I did, um, is when I joined here, I made sure that uh, we could make a donation. They're very big on community here. Um, by the way, go and give Midas and IWS a follow. I'll leave the link in the description down below. Um, makes my job a lot easier. Uh, so, yeah, so um, spoke to the boss within the first like, couple of days uh, of getting here, and they're more than happy to support the community. They're all about community here. Um, all about uh, sort of spreading the wealth and you know making sure everyone's safe and everything else. So they give me permission to uh, get a pallet of hand sanitizer and deliver it to the food bank. So we're going to do that today. Um, let's go. Let's go and, and donate it, I guess. So we've got the electric van. All about um, sort of the environment as well. So I'm just loading this up. I don't know if I'm going to get in it, but let's just have a look to see how much hand sanitizer we've actually loaded in here. We've got boxes and boxes and boxes of it. The van's more or less full, um, and hopefully this will make a big difference um, to the guys there at the food bank. They're very much appreciative. I spoke to John, uh, but I'm going to get this out on the road. So I'm in the van. I don't know how to start it, so I've got to put, maybe put my foot on there. There we go. So has it started? I guess so. Hopefully. <laughs> There's no engine because it's electric, fully electric. So hopefully it goes. Let's see. Bit of a traffic jam, but we're good. Just pulled in the garage for two seconds just to get myself like a drink and everything else. Um, yeah, looking forward to getting here and meeting the guys at the uh, the food bank. Um, look, you might might think this is a bit pretentious, a bit um, you know, stroke ego ish, but it is very important to support these guys. Um, you may think, oh, you don't do a lot, but we at West Ham Fan TV do a lot for charity behind the scenes. We don't really announce uh, the stuff that we do do. So um, that's why you don't really, like people think that we don't get involved in this sort of thing, but we do. We do get involved in this sort of thing. So, but it's so important um, as a Newham lad, as somebody that's uh, grew up in the area, uh, that has seen abject poverty. We've got one of the highest poverty rates in Newham um in the whole of england um and sort of supplying these sort of things during this this tough tough time uh is so important because not only is it keeping people safe but they've had a sort of a lack of you know things going through uh the system um why there's been no football because it's it's predominantly like collections at football so you may think like, oh, you know, what's a load of hand sanitizer going to do? But it allows the food bank not ha ha have to buy that sort of thing because they do raise funds as well. You can uh, donate. I'll leave all the links in the description down below. Um, but what it does, it, it allows them to focus their funds on other areas like hunger and everything else. We, you know, you, you know about Marcus Rashford and the, and, and the stuff. Um, with the school dinners and all that, but that happens every day. There are so many families living in abject poverty in Newham, more than there should be really. And, um, you know, by doing your little bit, by donating, um, you really make a difference. So every little help. So if you've got something, if you want to make some donations, as I said, I'll leave the links in the description down below, but it's so important we, that we do this sort of thing. So see all these like units here. We're looking for 84, oh, here we go, unit 84. 
just waiting for a, uh, a young lady. Let's park in here. Uh, so a young lady called Eliola is on her way. Um, we've parked up at the unit, uh, and then we're going to be up unloading the uh, the hand sanitizer. So we'll have a chat with her when she comes. As I said, all of this that's in here, oh, if you can see that, it's got to go into here. So I'm just waiting for this young lady to turn up. When she turns up, we're going to get that all in there. As you can see, there's quite a few, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 in each box. There's a lot of boxes, so let's shift. And yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, I'm filming you, yeah. <laughs> that's... Adiola, I can bring it inside, can I? Yeah, no worries. I'll open up the thing. So the owners oh turned up, we're going to get all of this in. There's quite a few here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway. so oh, thank you so much. That's okay, no problem. So about halfway done. I just loaded up, working hard. <laughs> so how important is all this stuff? For the half and half are very important because it's in the ideal pack with the small sizes so this will actually help people they can take it about with them you know and even for us volunteers too it help, so. and how long have you been doing this for? oh since 2014 2014 seven years do you know it was national volunteer week last week it's almost 10 years actually really? <laughs> Did you know it was National Volunteers Week last week? Yeah, I realised after a while. <laughs> <laughs> so let's... Too busy giving out food. Of course, yeah. So let's get the rest of this loaded up. So you know that it's Volunteers Week. So there we go, everything's delivered. So they're doing great work here at the food bank. Um, everything's been a little bit affected by, because I'm in contact with John, uh, everything's been a bit affected by the football not being there, but hopefully with the crowds coming back now, socially distanced and all that sort of stuff, it will get bring a little bit more attention to the food banks and the importance of the food banks. Um, Look, I'll leave all the links in the description down below. You can always donate, you can volunteer. They're always looking for, for money, for food, uh, for anything useful. Uh, volunteer hours, if you want to do that. If you're on furlough still uh, and, you're, uh, and, and, and you want to give up some time and really, really help a good cause. Any last words? Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all down to the guys at Midas. Uh, oh, thank you. We can't thank you enough. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, no problem at all. Uh, but there you go. Um, as I said, links are in the description down below if you want to donate, uh, whether it be monetary or voluntary or uh, any sort of food packages, uh, please get in contact ASAP. And as you can see, uh, that's everything done. Um, really happy to help. Um, more than a pleasure um as i said before it's so important that you give back to your local community uh, my boss is well into that sort of thing giving back to the community um so yeah give them a follow as well give my list a follow it makes my job a lot easier um give ibook food banks a, a new and food banks a follow uh, i'll leave all the links in the description down below and that's a job well done i think um it was a pleasure to help hopefully we get some more stuff um, yeah, one thing left to say, come on your irons. <laughs>